Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about the Hollyland Lyra webcam, which just recently came out. And I wanted to get a video put um, together for you as soon as I could, because I find this thing fascinating in the sense that it comes with a large sensor. It has a wide aperture and it includes a microphone in the combo kit that just costs $10 more. So right now I actually have the um, camera directly plugged into my Mac book and I just opened the box. So I literally took it out of the box, plugged it in. I haven't installed any software. I haven't um, read the instructions, anything like that. I just plugged it in and I've got some camera uh, recording software that I use for all of my cameras and I'm just using that. And what's really cool is, is the, for one thing, the auto white balance is perfect. I mean, it looks exactly like it looks in my room. Um, I have a little bit of light on my face, but nothing spectacular. The background looks just like it does. Messy, but <laughs> the color looks good. And the microphone, I have no idea how it's going to sound. And it comes in two different modes. There's a a noise reduction mode and a non, obviously, without any noise reduction. I'm not even sure what I'm in right now. I think I'm in noise reduction mode, so I'm going to turn it off right now. Now, yep, now it's back in whatever mode it's in now. I think this might be without noise reduction. So you can kind of, you know, listen and think what you, see what you think. The demos that I had seen uh, showed that this uh, sounded really good. And it would be really nice to have such a simple setup for what I do here and just replace all my gear, my heavy gear that I have to move out of the way every time I make an unboxing, every time I have to reset everything up. It'd be really nice to be able to just use this uh, camera and uh, this microphone for all of these types of uh, talking head videos. Um, the camera itself, I, is a 1.15 over 1.5 inch sensor and it's got an f uh 1.8 inch lens which gives you kind of a slight natural depth of field if you can see behind me there's definitely some blur behind me not as much as you would see on a uh you know a dslr or a you know mirrorless camera with a with a really nice uh lens on there but pretty darn good i mean definitely takes the edge off and doesn't look like a uh, action camera or something like that. So I'm really pleased with it. Um, so when I, once I get a chance to take a look at the footage, we'll see if I'm still feeling that way. And I'll let you know on when I finish the summary on this, but if you want to stay tuned, I'm going to do a quick unboxing, talk over what you get with the gear. And then I will uh, close with uh, my thoughts and feelings on it. Thank you. So this is um, Holly Studio, and I am going to give you <laughs> a serious first-hand view because I just loaded it, turned on QuickTime so I can uh, uh, record my screen, and here we are. So I'm going to play around with this a little bit. Um, it actually appears on the screen better to look better than the other application I was using. I don't have any, hopefully I've got this thing set up. Uh, let's see, version one, is there an update? I don't think there would be. Okay, language, video, save, selection. Here, let me, let me do that. Let's put it right here. 
And let's see. So shutter speed is auto, auto ISO. White balance looks good. I mean, it really does look good. Actually, yeah, looks great. Exposure looks good. I keep looking at my screen, so I apologize for looking down. Um, field of view. What does that do for me? Oh, focal length. So I can go. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow, is that sharp? Holy cow, that's sharp. Unbelievable. So you got smart framing. So if you hit head, I, there we go. I guess it's going to follow me around. Keep me in focus. Oh, it zooms in. It's actually quite nice. I like it. I like it. And then from what I understand, like you can create a template like, um, I'm going to add a template. That, okay, so there's the first one. I want to add another one where I come in here and I go, um, no smart framing. I want to bring the focal length down. I want to look behind me. Like, I don't know, other side. Let me hold this up. There we go. See, it's going to focus on that spot right there. That's pretty cool. So I literally can add, I think I can add a scene for that. And then what I do is I can literally take, I keep saying literally, sorry. Oh, no. So that saves that. Hmm. I have to learn how to play with that, but it will. I don't, I'm not sure if I can get the focus to move with it. I probably can. Okay, so I probably need to build a template. Also, I hope my voice is being recorded because uh, I told quick time to use this mic and we'll see if it does. Um, present. Okay, scene one. Scene two is, okay, it's zoomed in, but it didn't move over. It's, it's focus is fast. Let's see. And I'll put that back on my head. See, it's, see it's following me now. There's got to be some more things to this. And now, from what I understand, there is a, this is just the software that's built into or comes with it. Um, you have to download it off their website, but it also has um, some enhanced features if you're a Windows user. Um, they have added some stuff already from even the initial reviews I've seen because this looks like it supports a green screen now. Um, green screen turned off. Yeah, I'm probably going to look through this a little bit more. Um, but it they're going to be adding over a period of time. They're supposed to be adding a whole bunch of the features that are within the Windows version on the Mac. So it, the camera itself functions very well on the Mac, but as far as some of the advanced features, I think some of the color balancing options and stuff through, at least through their app is going to be uh, forthcoming. So what does this do right here? Oh, priority face focus. Okay. Audio. Let's see. Noise cancellation is on. Bluetooth pairing, add mic. It's connected. Let's see what happens when I do this. Ah, uh, that turns it off, obviously. Input volume. I don't see a I don't see a meter. That's alright. Update. I'll say mic version. Oh, they're all up to date. Alright. I turn off face focus. I guess it's more like a matrix where it's gonna take the whole scene into account or I guess or wherever I point that thing all right so I'm I'll probably cut some of this out field of view I can flip it now the question is is everything backwards here yes it is <laughs> that's why I don't have it that way even though it's correct all right what else can we do here oh we can record that's good um uh, screenshot open the folder see advanced oh look at that so they do have some controls that they've added 
anti-flicker. I don't see any flicker, but let's see, 60 hertz. Hmm. Off. I'm trying to see if there's any flicker. Hmm. ISO. What is the ISO at right now? It's on auto. I guess if I take auto off. Ooh, 250. So the ISO. Wow, that's really good. It looks good at. 160 ISO that is really low Boy, that you can tell that the lens is working some magic there with the 1.8 aperture so I I do have some some lights on me but I typically have to go much higher ISO than that and it dropped the shutter speed to 130th so there there's that let's see so it's on auto auto ISO I take the shutter speed and I'm going to put it at a 60th. It doesn't tell me what the I well, Let's see. Take the auto ISO off. Oh, uh, there we go. It's because it was at 130. So now if I take. Uh, there you go. So you can kind of see. Talking head, I totally don't mind a slower shutter speed, but. Let's see. So this is probably, this is recording at 30 um, frames per second. So this back and auto stays about where I had it. That's cool. Okay. Saturation, brightness, sharpness. And it looks like that's everything that they have at the moment. Well, hold on. What's up here? Momo live cam, more settings. Okay, we already saw that earlier. What is Momo Live Cam? Oh, okay, I'm not gonna worry about that. <laughs> All right, so let's see. The focal length, let's see. I mean, you can zoom this thing way in. I'm curious to see why is it stopped? Let me turn these field of view. What just changed? Do I have to do something specific to get this focal length to work? Maybe I have to turn it off face. Yeah, that's it. So, how close can this thing get? Wow, that is extremely, there's definitely adding some sharpening there. But still, look how clear it is. That's pretty impressive. All right. Okay, here's a little bit more. I am uh, going to use my camo app that I use to, or it's camo studio that I use to do most of these uh, talking head shots. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is show you, so this is straight out of the camera. And I'm going to show you what you can do a little bit with the software. Um, I literally, you know, I can bring the spotlighting in a little bit, which you can see what it's doing to my face, which I don't like that. But what I do is like just, just a tad and then the background. So it's already got some depth of field to it, some bokeh back there, but I'll add just, just a little bit more and say so still looking good but there's some better back background blur behind me which i actually like that i mean you can go crazy and i don't like that at all i don't even like that it doesn't look real but just like a literally a tad so there this is uh without anything so that's straight out of the camera and this is me adding just a touch to it and I am still looking at my hair, still extremely sharp. So this is working great. So for everything that I've uh, uh, hoped it would be, it is functioning perfectly. So I don't have a long time with the device, but uh, it's certainly looking promising. So if you're looking for a new webcam or maybe even something to replace all your, I don't know, your phone or uh, things like that, 
this could work out real well for you. I, uh, I mean, it's clean. The image is extremely clean. So if you're doing this for like conference calls, Zoom, that sort of thing, or like I'm doing here, recording, uh, just uh, recording yourself, it looks good and it is so easy to set up. I literally just took it out of the box, plugged a USB cable in and snapped it onto the top of the, of the little adapter that it has that's magnetic. And you can, you know, you can mount it vertically or portrait, which I showed you in the uh, unboxing and it it's working. I didn't do anything except chose it as the input device. So after about 30 minutes of use, I literally took this thing out of the box, plugged it into the uh, my USB uh, C port and turned it on. And here we go. And I showed you a little bit of uh, the application after I finally got it installed. But even before that, it was working great with the software I'm using right now, where I was able to add some a little bit of extra blur and some um, background blur and then just a little bit of highlight on my face. And I'm th thrilled with it. I uh, have the op I mean, options with this software to um, change the color balance, those type of things. But I don't see any purpose in it really like what I see. I've got the, some lights in here that are at 3200 Kelvin and the auto white balance on here seems to be fine. I like the, the color of my skin and the background looks the right colors, which can often throw it off, um, throw my skin tone off. And it's, this is good. So sharp. Uh, so if you're looking for something that's, uh, to replace your webcam, um, possibly uh, replace some of your other gear that you're having to fuss with to uh, get your shots and having to take them down and put them back up and all that sort of thing, which is what I was doing. I really like this. This is going to work out well for me. And like I said, I don't have a lot of light in here and you can really tell that this uh, the combination of the sensor and the, uh, the lens itself, the wide aperture. I mean, you could tell even when I was going through the uh, settings that it was performing very well, lower ISO. So it's not like um, cranking up ISO and using noise reduction and all those little tricks to, to get the picture looking good. This is actually at reasonable uh, um, apertures and reasonable shutter speeds in ISO. I mean, it really, really is doing a great job. So I'm rambling on about this, but I really, you know, my initial quick 30 minute initial impressions are very favorable and I can highly recommend it. So take a look. It's the Hollyland Lira. Thanks. Bye.